since you're so involved in the studio scene, maybe you could shed some light. You hear a lot of conflicting reports about the life of a studio musician or a drummer. You hear, man, it's really crazy, you know, they, they run you ragged, or there's a lot of, you know, it's a bad scene, or it's a good scene, or it's this or that. You know? Well, I can only relate it in terms of what goes on in Toronto. I have a feeling from what I've read and from people that I've spoken to that things are different in the other centers. Manhattan, for instance. Yeah. I think that in Los Angeles particularly, that, and I may be completely wrong, but I think that you have more guys who specialize in record dates. Mm -hmm. And you have other guys who specialize in commercials and films. Right. And you have other guys who specialize in concerts. Mm -hmm. In Toronto, you have people who, because there aren't as many recording acts, and because the town, there isn't as much activity going on as in LA and New York, yeah. you have fewer guys, and you have them doing more varied things. So as far as being run, again, I can only relate it from a, a Toronto standpoint. So I find that uh, I get a chance to do so many different things in Toronto that I'm very self-bored. Uh, and when I'm run ragged, it's my own choice. People phone me, the telephone rings, and it's up to you whether you want to accept the job or not. So, Do you have that pressure of if somebody calls you up, you might just be whipped and decide not to take a gig? Is there that threat that you may not get called? Again? Always. Yeah? Oh, oh, absolutely. <clears throat> always. You always wonder. I remember uh, <laughs> saying to a producer, one time I had, I remember very well, I had five jobs on a Friday and a, a very large producer in a Toronto record producer called me for a date on the Friday night. And I explained to him, I said, I'm going to be tired. I have to get up very early in the morning. I think my day started, at, I had a 7 a.m. jingle and it was pretty solid <clears throat> all the way through. And this was a nine o'clock record date. And I said, I don't think I'll be any good to you. And I, you know, I don't think, I just don't think it would work. Why don't you call somebody else? And I had done quite a lot of work for him. That was the last time that I worked for him. Yeah, that was. So, oh, there's always that. There are enough good guys just waiting to jump in, waiting for an opportunity. There's always that fear. Billy the Kid. Fastest gun on the West. That's right. There's a lot of that. A lot of that feeling.